Today, we're gonna listen to the story of Zubair ibn Awam radiallahu an, the bodyguard of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No success can be achieved without great struggle. This great short motivational story with morals is one of the inspirational stories that can inspire you to be a strong man. It was recorded in the Hadith in the book of Al-Bukhari that Rasulullah said, Each prophet has a night and my night is Zubair. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that after Zubair succeeded twice, infiltrated into the Jewish dweller alone and spied everything inside. We can't imagine how he did it, how he sneaked inside it without being seen by people, as though as he was an invisible man. It was a very intelligent skill, wasn't it? So that's why Rasulullah made him his knight or hero. Zubair was very skillful in fighting. His bravery was far above normal. Umar ibn Khattab and Ali Ali ibn Abi Talib, who were famous for their strength and their braveness, also acknowledged Zubair's strength and braveness. Umar radiallahu an said that Zubair was one of the four Sahaba that their every strength was the same as 1,000 people. While Ali radiallahu an who said Zubair was the bravest man. Zubair always broke two swords, one in his right hand and another in his left hand. He also used to bring a spear with pointed tips at both sides. He used this spear just when he fought against the strong enemy. He used to be in front of the Muslim troops, not in the first row. When the Muslim troops and the Kafir troops faced each other before the commander declared the war, Zubair came closer to the Kafir troops and shown off his skill of fighting in front of them. He jumped his horse, played his horse by swaying it, twisted and swung his spear and his sword to the commander of Kafir. If any one of the Kafir troops came to him, he wouldn't hesitate to kill him. Once the Takbir declared as the sign that the war began, Zubair directly moved forward to the Kafir troops and swung his swords. While the Muslim troops were still running forward, Zubair had already been in the midst of Kafir troops fighting. Such attraction disturbed the mentality of the Kafir troops and they become not confident anymore. Their focus was not on how to face the Muslim troops anymore. Even some of them left their position broke the troops formation. Thus, Muslim troops could easily fight them. Zubair ran from the front row to the back row of the Kafir troops, swinging his swords, killing his enemy around him. He ran forward and backward, killing them. The prophet companion said, that the main power of Muslim troops is at three of them. Those are Zubair, Hamza, and Ali radiallahu an. It was recorded that Zubair always used to be well-dressed, though he was a fighter, even at a war. I hope you are inspired by this short story about the life of great warrior. 
I hope you can build confidence in yourself after reading this story on self-confidence. This story is one of the really true motivational stories. I hope you enjoy it.